A recent report by the Center for Strategic and International Studies, or CSIS, suggests that preventing a successful Chinese invasion of Taiwan may rely heavily on a single American missile system and its efficient use against China's invasion fleet. The AGM-158B Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missile Extended Range, or JASM-ER, and its ship-hunting counterpart, the AGM-158C Long Range Anti-Ship Missile, or LRASM, emerged as two missile systems that played an essential role in defending Taiwan against a Chinese invasion. Lockheed Martin has recently disclosed its plans to inaugurate a second assembly line for manufacturing LRASM and JASM-ER. These missiles are deemed as indispensable in any prospective conflict involving the U.S. In this regard, Lockheed Martin's LRSM business development lead, Dominic DeCicciolo, has confirmed that the U.S. military is considering increasing its acquisition of long-range missiles from next year. Currently, Lockheed Martin produces over 500 LRSM and JASM each year for the U.S. military. Thus, the company intends to double the current annual procurement and expand its current manufacturing capabilities to produce approximately 1,000 LRASM and JASM each year. The CSIS report states that the U.S. will have around 3,650 JASM-ER missiles by 2026, which can serve multiple purposes while its stockpile of LRASM missiles designed for maritime targets will be around 450. This could pose a problem, as the LRASM has the potential to neutralize a significant portion of China's invasion fleet without requiring the U.S. to bring many of its own assets within range of Chinese anti-air or anti-ship defenses. Both LRASM and JASM-ER are part of the AGM-158 family of cruise missiles, they share several components and are manufactured on the same assembly lines. According to DeCicciolo, during production, some of the missiles are designated as LRASM, while others are designated as JASM. The allocation is based on customer demand, and each missile is processed accordingly. So what is the difference between the JASM-ER and LRASM? The AGM-158 JASM-ER is an air-launched cruise missile that became operational in 2014. Unlike its predecessor, which used a turbojet engine, the JASM-ER utilizes a turbofan engine similar to those found in tactical fighter planes and has an internal structure that allows for additional fuel storage, increasing its range from around 230 miles to over 620 miles. The missile is guided by an internal inertial navigation and GPS unit for most of its flight which was originally developed for weapons such as the AGM-154 Joint Standoff Weapon. Once the missile reaches its target, it switches to an infrared seeker for terminal guidance. More specifically, the JASM-ER is a long-range version of the AGM-158 JASM, which has already been fitted on the U.S. Air Force's B-1 bomber and F-15E fighter. The missile was test-fired from a USAF B-2 bomber during service testing. The B-2 bomber is already a stealth aircraft that can operate near or within enemy boundaries undetected by enemy radar. The combination of a stealth bomber and a stealth cruise missile could potentially enable targeting of deep inside enemy territory, as previously noted by Eurasian Times. As it approaches its target, the JASM-ER uses its infrared seeker for terminal guidance and is able to locate and identify its target using three-dimensional targeting models. It has the capability to store up to eight different target images for multiple potential targets. The missile is equipped with a 1,000-pound WDU-42B penetrating warhead, which includes about 240 pounds of AFX-757, a new type of explosive developed by the Air Force Research Laboratory High Explosives Research and Development Facility in Eglin Air Force Base, Florida. On the other hand, the AGM-158C LRSM was developed from the JASM-ER missile and was introduced four years after its predecessor in 2018. Although it shares some components with other JASMs, the LRSM's targeting and guidance system is said to be unique. Unlike other missiles, the LRASM does not need a specific target before launch. Instead, it can conduct autonomous targeting by utilizing a passive RF data link and onboard systems to identify enemy vessels during flight and select a target once it finds it. While the LRASM range is not as great as the JASM-ER, 
it can still hit targets as far as 230 miles away. This provides launching aircraft with ample distance to avoid surface-to-air missile systems commonly used by Chinese naval vessels, and with the proper mission planning and support, may also enable launch platforms to evade enemy fighter patrols. The Air Force's current budget for fiscal 2024 includes only 27 LRASM purchases, but it intends to secure a long-term contract for LRASM procurement until 2028, which would increase the annual purchase volume by an additional 380 LRASM. Meanwhile, the Navy plans to purchase a minimum of 91 LRASM in fiscal 2024. The U.S. military is prioritizing anti-ship weaponry due to the increasing tensions with China over the Taiwan issue and its focus on the Pacific, which is why there is a focus on procuring long-range munitions. The LRASM and JASMER American missile systems are advantageous, not only for Taiwan to effectively defend against China's invasion fleet, but also for Ukraine. Lockheed Martin is currently investigating the possibility of utilizing HIMARS mobile missile launchers to launch LRASM. These launchers have proven to be very advantageous for Ukraine, who have employed them to execute accurate attacks against their Russian opponent through a tactic known as shoot and scoot. It is expected that the HIMARS can launch the LRASM with a range of 230 miles to hit a target. According to Desisciolo, the idea of combining the potency and scope of LRASM with the durability of the well-established HIMARS for a ground launch variant is a formidable combination that can be used in a range of situations including traditional and irregular warfare. Furthermore, Lockheed Martin's aim is to expand the range of aircraft that can deploy LRSM, which is currently limited to Air Force B-1 Lancer bombers and Navy F-18 Super Hornet fighters. Currently, the LRASM missile can be loaded onto bombers and fighters in different quantities. It has been effectively incorporated and deployed on the B-1B and F-A-18EF aircraft, and contracts for integrating the missile onto other planes are currently being developed with U.S. services and partners. The company is collaborating with the military to integrate LRASM with the multi-service F-35 Lightning II fighter and the Navy's P-8 Poseidon. The B-1B Lancer can carry 24 units, the B-2 Spirit can carry 20, and the B-52H can carry 20. Meanwhile, the F-A-18EF Super Hornets, as well as the F-15E Strike Eagles and F-16 Fighting Falcons, can carry one or two each. However, due to its size, the missile cannot be carried internally in the F-35 aircraft. Nevertheless, since Lockheed Martin is exploring the possibility of integrating the LRASM with both the F-35 and the Navy's P-8 Poseidon, the chance for the missile to be carried externally is feasible. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.